Thanks a lot for that, Curtis. And active COVID-19 cases are climbing to nearly 175 as clusters popped up around the state. Montana now has 174 active cases, including a first in Granite County not reflected on this map. 17 people are in the hospital, around 75% of the almost 780 cases confirmed so far are considered recovered. And Montana has been one of its, has had one of its biggest spikes in new COVID-19 cases this past week, 136 total. That's the most since late March. At a news conference today, Governor Steve Bullock and state health officials explained what they thought is behind the surge and what can be done to slow it down. Now, the biggest increases have been in Bighorn, Custer, and Yellowstone counties. Jim Murphy of the State Bureau of Communicable Disease Prevention says a lot of factors are behind the clusters. He says there's been more contact among people since businesses have reopened and more testing that has revealed more cases. State epi epidemiologist Stacy Anderson also says some of the outbreaks came in group settings or by infected people traveling to a different city or town here in Montana. They said people need to continue social distancing, including at work, and if they can't, wear a mask. Governor Bullock said he's not going to require people to wear a mask in public, but that he's strongly recommending it when social distancing can't be achieved. We're not asking folks to wear a mask at all times. It makes no sense to do so when you're fishing with your family or when you're driving in your car alone. But do so at the grocery store, the pharmacy, grabbing a coffee, going into the gas station. That 15 minutes of inconvenience can make all the difference between one case turning into a dozen or more. Montana still has the lowest infection rate of any state in the lower 48 states.